Hi everybody, it's me, Teresa Perrin. In this video, I am going to do a broad market update video and as well as discuss something personal that's going on with me that you need to be aware of because I will no longer be discussing the ticker Hellbiz, H-L-B-Z, and I will share my reasonings for that in this video. But the market is incredibly bullish, guys, like very, very bullish. A lot of money's flowing into some big names after hours. Google, Meta, Disney, Amazon. It's just been unbelievable. And I'm seeing a lot of plays with heavy, heavy short interest that are absolutely on fire in the after hours. Guys, this is not normal activity. It's like Jerome Powell spoke, raised the 25 basis point hike as everyone was expected, but it wasn't so much the hike because we already knew that. It was what he said during his speech. It, in my opinion, was rather hawkish, although I think he tried to sound more neutral. Um, I'm sorry, it was rather dovish, not hawkish. I think he tried to sound more neutral, but to be honest, he sounded like things are definitely slowing down and perhaps we might even be having a chance of a halt in the future. So that is great for the markets. Um, he did say that unemployment is still expected to need to rise some more in order for inflation to continue coming down. But that is actually bullish for the market as well, guys, because remember, a lot of news events that you think would be catastrophic the market sees differently and they see layoffs and people losing their jobs, unfortunately, as bullish indicators because companies are saving money. Remember that. Now, Meta announced during their earnings in the after hours a huge share back that sent it absolutely ripping. So that should be on everyone's radar. Personally, I wouldn't touch it until a pullback comes in because it's just on fire. Um, but also Uber is another name that you need to keep on your watch list. I think the timing of this press release was right around Powell, so it got overlooked. But Uber um, had a huge buy order, which was, this is old reporting, but the news just hit that the Saudi Arabia GFI governor had a huge purchase in Uber. So that being said, remember what happened when uh, there was news that the Saudi Arabia GFI was going to buy out Lucid and how that absolutely ripped on Friday. Guys, keep an eye on Uber because you may see some of that ripping happening tomorrow in that name. And in addition, they have earnings coming up. I believe off the top of my head, it's February 8th. So there's still, in my opinion, a lot of shorts in that play based on the price action. And I believe that this is going to be an opportunity to for them to take the exit. So like I said, keep an eye on that name. I'm gonna go over some other names that I am keeping a close eye on for tomorrow. So let's get started. Please remember that nothing I say is financial advice. Always do your own DD. And also keep in mind that this is my opinion. All right, guys, just so that everybody knows why I'm no longer discussing Hellbiz, it is not that I don't want to, but it's that I feel it's in my best interest and my family's best interest to just move away from that. I took the video in regards to Yorkville down per the request of this cease and assist that I received. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, I just feel that it's not worth it because the reality of the situation, guys, is this market's not about you or I. And I think the rules are you keep your mouth shut when you figure out the game and that it's best that I do follow that rule because I my daughter needs me and I don't want anything bad to happen and I don't want her stressed out that her mother is going to end up in a major lawsuit or dead or something else. Who the heck knows? This is a crazy world we live in and there's a lot of nutsos out there. So I think it's better I just stay away from it. So I am not going to be discussing Hellbiz at all going forward, just so everybody's aware. And I think it's best that I don't disclose my position. However, I will be honest and tell you I have not sold at this point because I still see an upside to it. Um, 
But guys, like I said before, this is a trade to me now and that's all it is. So I'm taking any emotion out of it. I am no longer making it feel like it's my job to help the CEO realize what's happening to his company because, you know, it's not my place. So I'm staying out of it and it stinks, but it is what it is. So moving on, that is no longer a topic of discussion, just so everybody's aware. Now, Meta, after hours. At the time I took this picture, which was probably about an hour ago, it was already up $25.74. I honestly have no idea where it closed, but now I'm curious. Um, however, the reason for this is because they had earnings, which I believe I didn't really look too deeply, guys. I'm sorry, but my mind is on other things, clearly. Um, and... I did see, though, that they offered a huge share buyback. They actually closed up an additional $5 in the after hours. So they were up 2.75% on the day, but they closed the day up $30.92 in the after hours or 20.20%. Guys, that's phenomenal. And this is huge news. I mean, it's really great for Meta. And I'm so happy to see this because this is actually my pick of the year um, for stocks. Um, as far as large caps go in a competition. So looks like I'm off to a great start already. Hopefully it keeps up. Um, so anyways, I think you're going to see huge things happen with that. You may also see, although Snap was down in after hours, remember they had bad earnings yesterday. You may see companies like Pinterest, Etsy, maybe even BBIG make a move off of Meta because you have to keep in mind too that they're expecting to announce like, an attempt to be in TikTok again. So if that does happen, then these companies are going to benefit from that. So look at who would be the benefiting factors. Meta definitely would be huge. Pinterest would be huge because they have a platform for shorts. Uh, YouTube obviously would benefit. And God, I feel like Google owns YouTube. So that one may be flying off the chart as well. So Anyways, that's what I recommend checking out as far as large caps go. There are some other companies with very high short interest that I think are headed towards a massive squeeze and they are moving in the after hours and that would be Carvana, which I did a video on. Check it out if you haven't seen it already, but their short interest is 65.43%. Lucid, L L C I D. Their short interest is 25.49%. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, it did start to squeeze and got pulled back on Friday. And if you heard me, I said, I expect the little bit of pullback consolidation. And then I think this is gonna run again. And it started to run again today, guys. I firmly believe that Lucid is nowhere near done yet. And I believe Rivian could also um, follow in Lucid's footsteps. SI. There was news about SI yesterday in regards to, I believe it was BlackRock taking a large position in them. Well, guys, that has caused a pretty significant move. Their short interest is 70.16%. And when hedge funds are buying into this, you better follow the big money because they're going to run this up now. This ticker is down under $20 and it was even much lower prior to today um, and prior to this week. But... It was trading at one time, you know, in the high 100s. So uh, this is beat down very, very hard. And this is not a ticker I want to own long term, but this is a great run to ride. Mara. All right. I would take a look at all the crypto mining companies. Bitcoin just broke 24,000 in after hours. I am telling you the sentiment in this market is very strong. So... Mara has 44.16% short interest with 1.48 days to cover. Guys, these four names, I think you're going to see very, very large moves coming in them. I'm just giving you the heads up. As well as a lot of other heavily shorted companies too. So maybe Mullen might even be a good, good pick to keep your eye on. Look at the heat map. This is beautiful. It's all green. This is what I love to see. Bullish, guys. Now, top gainers are 10X, LCI, KBNT, Carvana, CVNA, which is Carvana, sorry, and ILAG. This is for after hours, guys. Every morning in my uh, morning watch list, which if you're not subscribed to the channel, I highly suggest that you subscribe so you get notification when I put that out. I give you all the pre-market top movers, um, but I also like to look 
after hours, which I normally don't do a video like this. But if you guys like this format, I may do that going forward rather than individual companies because I'd like to move more into news than focus on one thing. Um, so top losers are M-I-R-O, I-V-C, T-S-H-A, SNAP, and E-V-L-O. Now, SNAP also had an interesting earnings last um, quarter where they really massively sold off, followed by a rally. So keep an eye on that name because when it hits a bottom and looks like a good deal again, there will be buying. Technical analysis top list, we have M-G-A-M. SBS, UA, THC, and KRG. All right, guys, I am looking forward to an exciting day tomorrow, and I want to wish you all the best of luck in your trades. And please feel free to leave me a comment below on your thoughts on anything we discussed or other tickers that you think might be worth taking a look at. Thank you again. Have a great night.